Possibly the most important concept to determine the flow of your code is the if statement. All this one does is it tells Python to only run some code if a certain condition is true. Note here, we are always looking for a Boolean value. They are crucial to make all of this work. And an if statement can also be extended with elif and else. And you can also add different conditions together. We're going to cover all of this in quite a bit more detail over the next two videos. Let's have a look at all of this in code. Let's do a super quick recap of Boolean values. All they really do is if I have something like 10 is greater than 5, I print it, I'm getting true because this condition is indeed true. And if I do it the other way around, that 10 is smaller than 5, this would get me false because this condition is not correct. And these Boolean values we can now use to control the flow of our code. For example, we could run some code if a value in a variable is greater than, let's say, 10. For that, let me first of all create a variable. Let me call it x and let's start with 5. And now I want to run some code only if this value is greater than 10. And for that, I would need the word if and then the condition I want to check, which in my case is x is greater than 10. After that, I need a colon. And now if I press enter, Sublime is very intelligent here and already creates one level of indentation. So we are here if I write some code. And this is really important. Let me write some code here. Actually, let's say print the if statement was true. Because of this indentation, we know that this print statement belongs to this if statement here. If I execute all of this, we can see nothing. The reason why we can't see anything is that this condition here was not true. 5 is not greater than 10. But if I change this 5 to a 15, run all of this again, now we can see this print statement here. The main thing that you have to understand here is this condition. If it becomes true, then we are running all the indented parts below the if statement. And if it is false, we're not running any of the indented parts. This would also work over multiple lines of code. I could, for example, print another line. If I run this again, we get another line as well. I could also create another variable in here. Let me call it y is equal to 10 and I could print y. All of this works just fine. We can write any kind of code in here. As long as it's indented, it always belongs to this if statement. However, if I write now some other line of code after the if statement that is not indented, let me call it some other code, this one is always going to run regardless of what the if statement does because it's not indented. If I run the entire code right now, we can see some other code, the line we get here. And if I return x back to 5, run this again, we now can still see some other code because this line is not affected by the if statement because, again, of the indentation. Indentation is really important to Python. You absolutely have to understand it. Although that being said, this is the core part of an if statement. It really isn't that complex. Although you can extend the logic here in two different ways. A very easy one would be an else statement. This one, again, is going to need a colon. And now if I press enter again, we have another indentation. And in here, I can write the code that was run if the statement was false. How does this work? Basically, this else statement always has to be connected to an if statement. And what it does is if this condition here is false, then we are not running any of this, but we are running anything inside of the else statement. Since x is 5, this condition is going to be false, meaning none of this will run, but this one here should be run. And this line is going to run no matter what happens. 
So if I run the code, I should be seeing the output of this line and of this line. Let's try it. And there, indeed, we can see these two lines. And there's one more thing that you can do. And that is called an L if statement. And again, this L if statement has to be connected to an if statement. Basically, what it means is shorthand for else if. It's kind of similar to the else statement, except now we are adding a condition, which means if this condition here is false, then we want to run this statement here. But we only want to run this one if another condition is true. And this condition is just going to be another Boolean value. Let's say I want to check x again, and I want to check if x is different from 0. If that is the case, I once more need some indented code. And for this one, let me print the L if statement was correct. And now we have a much more complex if statement. We first check if this condition here is true which in our case right now is going to be false because 5 is smaller than 10, meaning this would be a false statement. Then we are coming to the L if statement, and now we are checking if, let me use a different color, if x is different from 0. And since 5 is different from 0, this one is going to be true. As a consequence, we are going to run or expect this code here to be run. Let me add it properly here so we can see what's inside of the line. And once any of these else if statement has run, we are stopping this if statement, meaning this else statement here would not be run at all. And once again, this print statement here is going to be happy either way because it does not care what happens in this entire thing. Let's try off this now. And we can see the else if statement was correct, which is this line here. And then we have some other code, this bit here. I suppose we could be doing another example. And now let me add a zero in here. And I would really recommend you to go over this one yourself and see which line you would expect to run here. Once again, we are starting at the first line and we know zero greater than 10 is going to be false. That can never be true. Next up, we are looking at X being different from zero, which in this case, is also going to be false. Which means at the end, we are left with this else statement, which means the code we are expecting is the code that was run in the if statement was false. And we're also expecting this one at the end, although that's getting repetitive. Let me run the code now, and we get the code that was run if the if statement was false and some other code. With that, we have all the basics for an if statement. If you understand if, elif and else, you already understand what you need. I guess one more thing that I haven't covered yet is if and else can only occur once inside of this if statement. But elif, you can multiply as many times as you want. For example, I could add x is greater than negative 20, for example, and then add something else. I know, print something else. And you could add as many else if statements as you want or as you need. But else and if can only occur once. Although what you could be doing is add another if statement afterwards. I guess we could add if one in the list one, two, and three. And then we want to print another if statement. When I said an if statement or an else statement can only occur once, I was always referring to this block here, where we are starting with an if, and inside of that, we can only have one else. We couldn't have a second else. However, Python is totally happy to have a completely separate if statement. But with that, we can do an exercise. And what I want you guys to do is this one here. We have one variable that determines how much money we have. And from this amount of money, I want you guys to figure out what we are going to eat. If we have greater or equal than 80 units of money, 
I want you guys to print eat something fancy. If the money is greater than 45, eat something nice. If it is greater than 15, eat something okay. And else, eat something cheap. And obviously, there should only ever be one print statement running at any point in time. So pause the video now and try this one yourself. Before we start, I want to comment out all of this because it would otherwise get kind of confusing. First of all, we need an if statement and now I want to check the money available. And I want to work on the first line here. And what we are being asked to do is greater or equal than 80, which we get with greater or equal and we want to check for 80. If you want a reminder on Boolean values, check out the last section on Boolean data types. This is going to be really important for this entire section. But in here, I now need a colon. And now I want to print eat something fancy. I guess let's add an exclamation mark because why not? The really important part here, this print statement has to be indented. But with that, we have covered the first line of the exercise. Next up, we want to check if the money is greater than 45, which means we want to first check if the money is greater than 80, but if that is not the case and the money is still greater than 45, we want to do something else, which means we need an L if statement. Else, because we want something else in the if statement and if because we have another condition. What I want to check in here, if the money available is greater than 45. After that, again, I need a colon, I need an indented line, and now I want to print eat something nice. And with that, we have covered this line here. Next up, we have a very similar line, meaning now we again need L if. And what I want to check now, if the money available is greater than 15. If that is the case, this is getting a bit repetitive, I want to print eat something okay. That covers this line. And finally, we have an else statement that if all of these conditions are false, we want to do something else. And the else we want to do is to print eat something cheap. And there we go. This is going to cover all of the four if statements. If I run this now, we get eat something fancy because the first if statement, this one here, is true. However, if I change this 100 to, let's say, 50, we get eat something nice. If I change it to 20, we get eat something okay. And if I change it to 5, we get eat something cheap. And with that, we have basic if statements.